Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Alright, Dinos it is. So let's try Junt Dinosaurs featuring Rotting Regisaur, Marauding Raptors. Then I'm not sure if we want Autopack Hunt Master or if we want the green 2-drop that ramps. Um, what else? Could play Atali. Could play Monstrosaur. So yeah, it's either Drover or Hunt Master, I think. I'm not sure which one's better. Definitely want Ripjaw. What else? Maybe some Ceratops. Alpha, couple Galtas, and maybe some uh, Collision Colossus makes sense in a deck with Rotting Regisaur. Yeah, could play a couple Charging Monstrosaurs. So yeah, I don't know if we want all the two mana ramp creatures here, might be a bit much. I could fit in uh, Lanor Elves in favor of one of the two mana ramp cards. Yeah, the Huntmaster is a bit of a nombo with Marauding Raptor. At least with the Lanor Elves we can play turn one to help us ramp. Yeah, that is true. Autopack Huntmaster into Rotting Regisaur is a nice curve. I'm thinking we probably still want the Lanor Elves. So we could do something like this. Yeah, we have most of our deck here. Could maybe use some more 3-drops, maybe some Brontodons in the main. And I guess we don't need to play 24 lands if we play 4 Commune. Can kind of uh, play one or two fewer lands. Could still play like two Monstrosaurs, I guess. Yeah, the, the last time we built a Dino deck it was red-green during the 24-hour stream. This is a bit different. So yeah, Collision Colossus seems nice if we're playing Rotting Regisaur. We could play with uh, like Domri's Ambush or Savage Stomp. Could play some Planeswalkers. I guess 3 mana Domri is not bad. Could be okay. Does Regisaur combo with Bang of Holding? I think it does. Yeah, that's a neat combo, although Bag of Holding is a bit slow for Constructed. Yeah, that could be okay as a finisher. Although I think like Collision Colossus kind of fits into the same category as a Thud as a finisher. So this could be an okay place to start. We'll have to build a mana base real quick. So all the red-green ones. Probably some Overgrown Tombs. Not sure if we want Unclaimed Territory, since it doesn't help with Lanor Elves, Commune, Collision Colossus. But it would help with a Black Splash. Could be okay, I guess. It's probably better than just adding a bunch of Swamps to the deck. Some Overgrown Tombs. Couple... Cemeteries. Don't think we want too many. Red, black, dual lands. Right now we've got 12 black sources plus Drover. Could be enough for the Rotting Regisaur. Don't think we need basic Swamp. Could be useful in some situations, but I think I'll cut it for now. So let's see. Right now we have... 10, so 10 untapped green sources plus 4 unclaimed territory. 1 mountain. How many lands is this? 23. So maybe cut 1 spell and 1 land. Maybe just play the 2 collision colossus. Don't really want to draw more than 1 in any given game, I think. And then... 
Maybe just don't play the mountain. So how many red sources is this? So we've got 12 red sources for the turn 2 Marauding Raptor. That's a bit low. Should be like 13, 14. Maybe I'm supposed to play a couple mountains or a couple blood crypts. So let's see, now we have 14 red sources for the turn 2 Marauding Raptor. I have 10 untapped green sources plus 4 unclaimed territory for the turn 1 Lander Elves. How many black sources do I have? 8, 12, plus Drover, plus Commune that can also kind of fix. So this could work. So let's add a couple fancy forests. And then Collision Colossus we can also cast thanks to Domri. I guess we're a bit low on red mana for casting Domri itself. We only have the 10 red sources plus the 4 drovers. Maybe that's enough. Yeah, I guess we'll try this and see if we run into any mana issues. Can make some adjustments. And seems okay. Opponent is playing the Feather deck. Pretty decent start on our side. Alright, turn 3 win. I'll take it. And that's why you play Lenor Elves. This hand seems okay. No ramp, but still got the uh, Rotting Regisaur plus Collision Colossus. Alright, there's a ramp. So Marauding Rapture could be good. I guess if we play Marauding Raptor turn 2, we can still play Register turn after, and it hits a bit harder than Drover. Don't think we need lands. Do I enjoy best of 3 standard? I do, but when I'm testing out new decks, I would rather just play best of 1. Alright, up against the Teamer Elemental deck. I guess we don't have to show them the black mana. So next turn we can go Regisaur into Drover, which is gonna be pretty strong. Yeah, that's a nice thing about Drover, as opposed to the Huntmaster. If we play it after Raptor, it still survives, as it's gonna be a 3-3 with 2 damage on it. There was a rare dinosaur band in Ixalan, the three drop that uh, prevents the opponent from gaining life. So it's just going to be an Omnath. All right. I could also attack and then Colossus if they block. Don't know if that's better, but this way we get into damage if they don't block. So, seems okay. Alright, opponent takes it. Because I don't necessarily want to trade this Marauding Raptor, so this way we get into damage. Although maybe they didn't even want to trade Omnath. 
for Raptor anyway, and we could have gotten in 4 damage, maybe. So next turn we can discard something random. Could be the Ceratops that we discard. Could be the land. So yeah, we've got one extra mana from the Drover. Opponent's got a 4-4 four, four Omnath. Yeah, this is pretty decent against Omnath. So I'll discard land for now. Ooh, Galta. No, that's a nice one. So I guess we'll start by playing Galta. Just go face. with Colossus at the ready. Opponent could just be dead here. Alright, that'll do it. Yeah, the Teamer Elemental deck doesn't deal with Galta very well. So we'll commune. Could be a matchup where Ceratops is good. We've got a 3-drop, we've got a 4-drop. This gives us something at 5. So now playing Domri is less appealing. So might as well play a Regisaur first. And then next turn we can maybe fight with Domri. Up against Sultai Elementals. Alright, what do we discard? Ribja is nice alongside Domri. Second Rotting Regisaur is going to maybe d be difficult to manage at the moment. So I could see discarding that one. So now I could go Domri into Marauding Raptor. Seems okay. And then next turn the Ribjaw is going to draw some more cards. And we can discard the Monstrosaur. Or I could play the Ribjaw right now. Could also fight with Domri. Kill the Risen Reef. Start by attacking. Have a lot of approaches here. I think I like doing Domri into Marauding Raptor, but maybe that's not the best here. What can we expect our opponent to play next turn? They could have like Yarok, in which case we might need Domri as a way to kill it. I guess I could have played Domri first to get in uh, one extra damage. Alright, if this is a Jade Light, we're in trouble. Although, yeah. It's gonna be difficult to beat. I think this game's over. Well, we can play both here, which is kind of nice. I probably should have used the red mana from Domri to cast the Marauding Raptor, that way if we drew into Collision Colossus we could play that instant speed without being awkward with Domri's mana at sorcery speed. Um, but I guess we'll play another Ribjaw. Well, there's Collision Colossus. 
So we're kind of going off. This just trades for Jade Light, but I think that's fine. Now we'll have to decide whether we want the Regisaur or Collision Colossus based on what they play this turn. Yeah, they might have a Commander Dreadhorde coming up here. And they're looking at the graveyards. Couple more months of Wild Growth Walker and then... Uh, we won't have to sit through those life gain triggers anymore. So Domri is pretty dead here. Can draw some cards with Ripjaw. So now we can discard the land instead. But at 25, it's going to be difficult to uh, beat this board. So I guess we trample with the Regisaur here. And they're looking at the graveyards again, so that doesn't bode well. Yeah, that was tough. It's possible we should have just killed something with Domri, but both the Risen Reef and the Wild Growth Walker were problems, and we kind of needed to get ahead on board. This hand is kind of slow, but I guess we'll keep on the draw. Opponent maybe a mono black aggro here. Guess I can name Dino for, for this one, so we have double green for Ceratops as well. And the next one we could go Drover plus Regisaur. I'm okay if they pump. So we're opponent with a pretty tame start. Ooh. So we can't play both Raptors and have Ceratops survive, that's one of the drawbacks. But we can still play the Rotting Regisaur, so I could go Drover into Raptor into Regisaur, which seems strong. Is there any way for me to cast a Galta this turn? Don't think so. I think I do like the play all my cards line here. And then just discard Ceratops to the Regisaur next turn. Keep Galta and Collision Colossus. So not a bad turn 3 here. So next turn we could play Galta and then still cast Collision Colossus afterwards. So Ceratops can go. Gotta be a bit careful how we tap our mana. Back up Galta. So we want to tap our mana like this.
and then keep the drover back so we can cast Collision Colossus. That's fine. So 11, so they're just super dead here. Four, tramples over for two. So I guess I can't target the Raptor if I want to go for lethal. Yeah, Collision Colossus seems nice in a deck with the Rotting Regisaur, which tends to get uh, chum blocked pretty often. Up against the vampires. Do I offer the trade? I don't really want to since I want to play Regisaur next turn. So... We'll do it like this. I'll take it. One goes for the trade. And next turn the monster star is gonna be pretty decent. Even if they kill the Regisaur. Alright, another turn three kill essentially. Yeah, Marauding Raptor is a pretty powerful card. Another solid opener. Next turn the Raptor into Drover. Again showing White's maybe better than the Huntmaster. Ooh, Disfigure. Nightmare's Thirst, wow. Haven't seen that card in a while. Alright, that's gonna set us back quite a bit. Think we still play Raptor. Although if we play Drover, I guess we get in one more damage next turn. Although if they have another Thirst, that's kind of a disaster. So that's also reason to play Raptor first. So yeah. It's gonna take a bit longer to play Rogalta now. Ceratops is a good one. So... I guess I'll just play the Ceratops. So this could be a Dovin's Acuity life gain deck. Could just be black-white life gain, I guess. All right. Resplendent Angel definitely points towards like a normal black-white life gain synergy deck. And Collision Colossus is pretty decent against those angels. So we can go Drover into Galta. And then we can hold Collision Colossus for now. So let's just play Galta. I'm okay with the trade. And the fact that they're playing Resplendent Angels makes it less likely that they have cars like Kaya's Wrath, although it's not impossible. Bone goes for the trade. But they had to think about it for a second, which makes me more hopeful they won't have Kaya's Wrath. Could keep this in hand if we want to play around Basilica Bellhaunt, which could definitely be in their deck. I guess that's reasonable, don't really need the land in play for a major reason. Alright, and our opponent explodes, so 
A nice early Galta. Not bad, not bad. So yeah. John Dinosaurs, in conclusion, any changes? Pretty happy with the list in general. Raptor plus Drover just play well with each other. Pretty happy with the Lanner Elves on turn 1, just speeding up the deck significantly, even though it's a bit of a nombo with Marauding Raptor itself. Domri is also nice, especially with these one mana plays. And even if we have a Marauding Raptor in play, sometimes we can uh, play a pretty big dinosaur with the mana from Domri afterwards. And then of course Ribjar Raptor, great combo with Marauding Raptor, even if we have two in play, we still get to play Raptor or Rotting Regisaur. And is a black worth it for Rotting Regisaur? I think it is. Like I remember playing this without a black mana and without Rotting Regisaur and kind of having a hole at three mana. We would have to play like main deck Brontodon, which is an okay card, but if we're trying to beat down, get Galtas in play and be aggressive, then Rotting Regisaur fits pretty well. And sure, sometimes a drawback can hurt, but for the most part we're trying to get the opponent dead pretty quickly, so discarding a card usually doesn't end up mattering too much. And the addition of Collision Colossus to Trample Over seems pretty strong here in this type of deck. Couple Shifting Ceratops, not the best with multiple Marauding Raptors, but just a nice flexible card. And then some nice hasty 5 drops that all play well with the Marauding Raptor. And a couple Galtas, could see playing a third Galta, could uh, definitely make sense here. And again the mana base could maybe use a bit more fine tuning, not sure if the unclaimed territories are necessary, but they seem decent and makes the mana base a bit less painful than if we were playing all the shock lands. So yeah, Gen Dinosaurs, definitely a fun deck to try out. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. Thank you.